Greetings, special centurions, and welcome, fellow YouTubers, back to Oblivion. I spent a bit of time running around Skingrad, pillaging everything I could from the Mages Guild and the Fighters Guild and selling it all. And as you can see now, our gold is back up to a healthy amount. I think we earned about 2k there, actually, which is nice. And we've still got the Paranoia Greetings, quest to do, which gives you about 1,200, 1,400. It is now night time, so I'm about to head to behind the chapel. We'll wait for a little bit because we can do that at night, obviously, as a vampire. Uh, and then after that, I think what I'm going to do is head up to this Daedric Shrine, the Shrine of Sanguine, just to see what we need in order to summon Sanguine so we can get ready to... Um, we can just keep a lookout for whatever it is we need, and then we'll head back and do Bleak Flats Cave en route because we need to... Um, Oh, I need to go up this way. Because we still need to do the skin skin grad recommendation. Last time we went there, the vampires... Not the vampires, sorry. The zombies proved to be too tough for us. It was taking too long to hack through each zombie. And it, uh, my sword was breaking before... Like, way before we were even close to killing the zombies. So, I gave up and left. This time, we should be a bit more powerful. And a bit more able to deal with the zombies. And uh, break through to Earth or to rescue him so yeah let's just come here we can wait now that it's night time seven thirty-three, so four hours should be enough Ah, you came. You're sure you weren't followed? Good. I thought I could trust you. Nobody else in town. They're all in on it. All watching. That's because you're a crazy fuckhead doing well, weird and erratic yes, things. That's I need why. you to do something for me. I'll pay you gold. Yeah, I like gold. You like gold. I love gold. You? I can't believe we both Not like gold. Something. I can't believe we both like money. <laughs> Here's my problem. I'm being followed. Oh dear. Watched. Marukati selectives, maybe. Not sure. I'm a threat, you see, to their plans. Oh, okay. I know too much. Do you? I need you to check out some people for me. The ones who are following me. Watch them. See where they go. Who they report to. Will you help me? Yep, I will. As long as you give me gold. Very good. You won't be sorry. I'll pay you well. Did I say that already? You did, yeah, but I can't Let's believe we both like money. Bernadette Penance. Be outside my house at 6 a.m. You'll see her watching me. Okay. See where she goes and okay. who she reports to. Okay. Sounds good to me. We'll meet here again tomorrow night. Oh, and never contact me in public. They're watching. They can't know you're helping me. Cool. Sounds good. Remember, Bernadette Penniless. Yeah, whatever. Go to the skin grad recommendation. We'll fast travel to Bleak Flats Cave because we've already found it. Which is very handy. And then we will head up northwest this way to the Daedric Shrine. Do a quick save. Let's continue. There she blows, chat. There she blows. Come up over the hill this way. Rather than going into the valley, because then it's harder to get up the hill from between the two hills. There it is. Shrine of Sanguine. It all feels good. It's all fun. Why not? Why not? Because it's a Daedric god, you idiot. It's a demon lord. Have you come to revel in the glory that is the Shrine of Sanguine? I have indeed. Why? It is a place of celebration for us. We dance. We make love. Would you speak with Sanguine? I would, yes. Approach them and bring Sanguine a gift. 
Oh, he's Some the one. Cyrodiilic brandy is an appropriate gift for your host. Cool. So I mentioned earlier that. Um, what can I interest you in? He didn't have anything. He doesn't money though. He no, he didn't have any money. I mentioned earlier there was a there was a Daedric god that you could summon with that you needed Cyrodiilic brandy to summon. It turns out it's the Shrine of Sanguine. So we can go back to Wayne and Priory at any point. Uh, it must be level 8 to begin this quest, and we're like level 13 or something at this point. Yeah, 13, so we can easily do it whenever we want. That's good. Uh, so we're going to go to the Skingrad recommendation. <coughs> Excuse me. Skingrad recommendation and uh, fast travel to the Bleak Bats cave. Now, there was a... Yeah, here it is. There's a couple of monuments here. One of them gives you armor, one of them gives you a good sword. It's known when the hero's fame has grown. Oh, we still don't have enough fame to use that one. We do, however, have enough fame to use this one, which is a big sword. So I'm going to summon this one. Daedric armor and a big sword. That'll help us get through some of the zombies in the uh, tomb without damaging our other sword, which is good. So let's go chat, let's go. Come Skeletor, let us fight the, un the undead scourge. Deranged zombie, eh? <laughs> he just smacks down Skeletor instantly. This is actually a really good place to get our blunt skill up because, again, oh, I don't have the silver weapon. I, th I was thinking if I had the silver battle axe, then it would be a good place to get our blunt skill up, but we don't have the silver battle axe. I'm just thinking you don't actually block it all. You don't take any attacks from them because their attacks are so powerful that they kill you even if you block. So all you do with zombies is evade them. You just don't get hit by them. You just step in and hit them and then step out when they're about to swing. Like I'm doing now. And just keep doing that. And that just makes sure you survive. Nice. Good one, Skeletor. Okay. I think there's a total of about six zombies in here. Before you find Earthor. Another one. Summon Skeletor behind him. in the corner. Bit of money in it. Nice. Should have enough oomph left in our sword to kill one more Zomboss. Which is down there. Can you get his attention? Oh, I can't. I can fireball him. Silly zombie. I know you're headless, but come and get some. That's why you don't take a hit from them at all.
done skeletal nice we're now an expert with blade press and hold attack while moving backwards to use this power attack to knock down our opponent nice 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 that's useful drop a save Someone else knows I'm here now. There he is. Oops, didn't mean to crouch. I just smacks down Skeletor instantly. And again, Skeletor goes down. Oh shit, I didn't repair my weapon. That was a mistake. got to repair my weapon between zombies. God, they take a long time to hack up chat. Good work, Skeletor. Right. Do 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 do. Steel longsword. Anything around here? I don't think there is. No. Okay. Nothing down in there, nothing around here. Anything up here? No, make sure there's nothing down here. Or chest, anything anywhere? Nope, okay. Should be a zomboss in here somewhere. Another zomboss. There he is. Bring him out to here where we can fight him properly. Don't bully Skeletor like that, it's mean. <laughs> Just <laughs> pats him on the back, Skeletor goes flying. Okay, he keeps attacking Skeletor for some reason, so I need to get his attention. There we go, now Skeletor can stand there hacking at him. Or not. Yeah. Skeletor can stand there hacking at him from behind while I uh, dodge his attacks. Skeletor. Ow. Hey, what you do to Skeletor?
and now my fatigue's gone off, swap back over to magic. Back to max, can switch back to swinging to do most damage now. Good work, Skeletor. Good work. Oops, didn't mean to press that. I meant to press that. Repair up the sword. Get your sword nice and sharp again, chat. Your sword's got to be real sharp for fighting these zombots. Any more? Any more for any more? Don't see any more for any more. You can hear one coming again now. I love the way they smack down Skeletor, it's so funny. Yeah, I need to get their attention because they keep killing Skeletor. Stop it! Try and summon him behind. Right, that should do it. Ow. Got stuck on the fucking mushroom. This isn't a good place to fight. Oh god, I'm in trouble. This isn't a good place to fight them. I can't bring him out here. This is a much better place to fight them. It's long and straight and yeah. Fatigue is low, so now it's back to magic. how you deal with zombies chat oh, I need to repair <laughs> Smack Skeletor away. Okay, he's got his attention. Fatigue is high or high enough. We'll get fatigue down to minimum and start fireballing it. Oh 
shit, I'm stuck. Right, let's bring him back up here. Bring him out here. Now we up and down, back and forth again. Whoops, sorry Skeletor. It's fine, you've got no you've got no flesh, you can't burn. You're just all bone. Fatigue is maxed again, so let's swing. Done, Skeletor. Perfect. Now we repair. Keep going, keep moving. Is that it? And any more? Nope, that's it. Okay, this all counts as stealing, apparently, so we don't want to do it in front of him. Wait, let's... He doesn't see us, so let's do it quickly now while his back is turned. Bit of gold. What is it, associate? How do you know I'm an associate? You've been in the cave for the last fucking forever, all right. They're all gone? I can leave the cave? You're heading back to Skingrad, aren't you? Yes, Could I suppose I, I can take you back. come with you? It'd be safer, I think. So, what do you say? Yeah, yeah, come with me. Oh, thank... I can't wait to be back in Skingrad. Safe and sound. Are you following? Yeah. Come on then, you chump. Well, I don't know what you're doing in a cave with a bunch of fucking zombies, but whatever. Ah! Oh shit, we can't fast travel. Oh well, we'll just have to head back to the Skingrad stables. We need to go south. There she blows, chat, in the horizon. Skin grad. Is this? This isn't that grove. No, Shadeleaf Cops is over there. There's another one here. There might be none root here. Let's have a look. Oh, someone's discovered me. Ow, what the fuck? That's oh, a rat. Fucking rat almost killed me combined with the sunlight. Any none root here? Where's Earthall? There he is. Good. Don't see any Nern root. There's some. Ah, uh, only one compared to the three that were at the other place. What's that? Viper's bug loss. Yep, no Nern root. Okay. Whatever, let's go back to Skingrad.
Where's he gone? There he is. What? Oh, whatever. What are you doing? Fucking sneak snonking your way through the fucking. What are you like? Just practicing your sneak snonking, are you? I see, I see. But I suspect you want to shoot, not grow grapes. Am I right? Alright. I'll leave you to your sneak snonking, but a bit of advice for you. Doing it in the middle of the day, down a street with absolutely no cover, isn't going to get you anywhere, my friend. Just a pro tip for you. Seek my help. What's our illusion skill now? Out of curiosity, it should be getting up to where we want it to be. Illusion 84. So it needs one more, and then it's 75 without any of our buffs. That's what we want it to be. Hi there. How are you today? Hi. Adrian, I'm back. I was rescued. So it was You're unharmed, I presume. Well, my pride is a little wounded. Oh, spare me. Yeah, spare us all. Bother to send someone after you at all. Yeah, exactly. In the future, would you please be more careful? Uh, well, yes. I'll just pack up my supplies and be on my way then. Yeah, Thank clear you for off. someone to help me. What is it? What's new with you? What? Nothing to say, no thank I you. I understand that De Gale is in much better control of her fact. Yeah, how did you know about that? You've been in a cave for fucking what? ages. Uh, recommendation. I've spoken with Erthor, who seems to be all right. Good work. I'll see to it that your recommendation is sent in as soon as I have a free moment. Thank you. As I've said, I'm rather busy. I'll get to it eventually, though, I assure you. Hooray. Goodbye. Okay, so that's that done. The only anything left in skin grad to do is the paranoia. We need to hand that in, but that's tonight. That's in 12 hours. So we don't really have... What's this? Why are there two... Paranoia. Oh, because I meant to... One of them is where I follow her, and one of them is Galathir himself. Okay. He's probably still out of the cave. Uh, let's work. see... So yeah, what do we do now? Collector, independent theory, the Elven Maiden, Tears of the Savior, Seeking Your Roots, Nocturnal, Pilgrimage. I think we wait, just wait in here till fucking night. Our vampirism will go up and then we'll feed. We only need 11 hours. Not even that, 10 hours. So our vampirism should go up, but it will be night so we can feed and it will go back down. And then we can go anywhere else. Oh, we've read this one before. But yeah, it's when you're getting buried alive. That's cool. It's cool as shit, chat. It's cool as shit. Oh, ah, get off. Yeah, I'm fine. She was following just you. Just as I thought. Just as I thought. Excellent work. There will be a bonus in this for you. Don't worry. I hope so. What about the reward you ah, promised? Of course. The gold. Here. But there is someone else I need you to investigate. 150 gold, okay. Tutius Sextius. Tutius Sextius, that him? name again. A quiet fellow. Appears harmless enough. But I've identified him as one of my key suspects. Nice. He's a clever one, no doubt about it. Eyes in the back of his head. Always seems to know when I'm watching. But that's where you come in. 
You should wait outside his house and see what he does when he's not watching me. I'll meet you here tomorrow night to get your report. Okay. Don't let him get there. Uh, I think what I'll do now, actually, is travel to... Oh, we need to feed first because we have level three vampire, I think. Where are we? Where does it show? It shows in here, doesn't it? Sun damage for yeah, 75% vampirism. I'm just gonna go see if I can pray at the altar because it looks like I've got a disease of some kind apart from vampirism, and I want to get rid of it because something's draining our willpower. Okay, now let's look at our willpower. There we go, much better. It was down at 80 before. Okay, let us go find someone to feed on chat. What time is it? It is 11 in the evening. We need to wait a few hours for it to be night. Uh, and then we can feed on someone. Last time I used the blacksmith. I might use the blacksmith again. Because I know where they sleep. Plus, they're an alcoholic. So you get the added benefit of being boozy. On top of satisfying our thirst for blood. Here we go, here's the blacksmith house. They might still be asleep at this hour, so I need to be careful. Asleep, still awake. Sorry, I meant to say still awake at this hour. Let's go into the Mages Guild, see if anyone's asleep in there. Just help because we can just walk around here easily and just find someone who's asleep. No one's asleep in there. No one's asleep in there. No one's asleep in there. God damn it. All right, let's just wait for a few hours. Wait for three hours, that should do. And then there'll be people sleeping. Here we go. Well met. That person has someone in the bed. Feed on her or whatever. Let's see. Okay, no problem. Let's go, chat. Let's go. Got any what? spells to sell? Not at this time. Oh, she's got what rumors. I... What rumors do you have? Did you hear that someone played yet another prank on Jean Frasoric and Vuma? I don't know how she keeps falling for these things. Who's Jean Frasoric? How do you know about that? All the way up in Bruma. Fucking weirdo. Right, uh, we've now... Let's go get the Cyrodiilic Brandy, I think, and summon Sanguine. We need to go back to Wayne and Priory anyway drop some stuff off so let's go and do that see what sanguine wants us to do uh, Cyrodiilic brandy uh, glow dust is another one you need to summon one of the other gods I can't remember which one though uh, let's keep all the arrows on us. Jewel of Ramari. Oh, I've got a leather helmet here I need to sell. Uh, Jewel of Ramari. It only weighs a pound, so I'll keep it on us because we might need water breathing at any point, and that could be really useful. Got a bunch of Alembics here we need to sell at some point, and they're quite heavy, so let's just drop them off. For the moment, we'll sell them when we're going up to Bruma next. Um, key. I don't know what that's for. Oh, we found that in the vampire den, didn't we? Let's put that away. Uh, welcome stone, we don't need. 22 of power hammers, we don't need. Let's drop 10. Uh, and that's it, right? That's everything from our inventory cleared out. Let the helmet will drop until we're going to go sell it next. Okay, all good. Let's go back and summon. 
Summon Sanguine. Auto saving, quick saving. What are you doing, horsey? You can't summon Sanguine. Oh, I see. You want to join in the orgy, do you? Okay. Do you wish officer of brandy? Yes, I do. Ah, another mortal. Come to beg Sanguine to add a bit of spice to an otherwise drab existence. I would have you perform a service for me. Okay. The castle Leowin is a dull, dreary place. Ooh, we're going to Leowin, are we? The mistress is an especially somber soul. And tomorrow she will hold another excruciating dinner party. I want you to liven it up. Use this spell on the Countess and her guests. Okay. I think it will make the party much more interesting. Cool. You should probably try to be inconspicuous, or they might kill you. Oh, and the party is by invitation only. You'll have to find a way in. Oh, goody. Have fun. <laughs> Stark reality, okay. After I provided the offering to Sanguine, the Daedra Prince spoke to me. Sanguine believes that the Countess of Leon is too stuffy and wants to do something about it. She will be hosting a dinner party tomorrow and I am to sneak into the castle undetected and cast the spell of stark reality on her. Cool, let's go straight to Leowin and do that. It's a non-combat mission, so... Yeah, it's a non-combat mission, so we should be able to do it quite easily. Or without too much challenge. Is there any particular time? It's two in the afternoon. What time will she be hosting the dinner party, I wonder? She's gone from there. It must be in here. Hold on. There's a dinner party here tonight. No one gets into the room until it's prepared. And no one gets in the room, even after it's prepared, unless they're on the list. And even if they're on the list, they'd better be dressed for it. <laughs> Jesus, all right. This is important to the Countess, and no one is going to muck it up. Mm, Got it. That's what you think. Tee -hee -hee -hee. Okay, so I'm taking off all our armor because we're going into super sneaky sneak snonk mode. Let's see if we can get through this way, if there's anything this way. Leowin Basement. Okay, that won't work. How on earth are you supposed to get in there, I wonder? Any secret passages here? No. Leowin Dungeons. Eh. Maybe there's a view from the balcony if you go up the floor. No, look, there's nothing. I wonder how you're supposed to get in there then. Private courses, we can't get in there. Can we sneak snog behind him? Hello. If we stand behind him, does he know we're here? Yeah, because he turns around. Okay. Uh, what if we turn invisible? How's our... Let's look at our... Um, illusion is 80. So that means we should be able to cast... The spell that we need, which is Invisibility, Ghost Walk. F5, save this. Cast Invisibility. And now he won't see us. But we can come in here and we can sneak in here. He can't open this door. Oh. Okay, so we can't get in there. So I wonder how you're supposed to get in there then. Maybe through the dungeons? That's the only thing I can think of. It's either through the dungeons there, or it's through here, over here. Might be through the basement, actually. Turn invisible, so that sneaking is super easy. Uh, and actually, let's use that as well. So sneaking is even more easy. Yeah, see, it's, I don't know. I don't think it's through here. That's clearly a passage. But I think you sneak out of there in a different quest later. So maybe it's in the basement. No, not the basement. The dungeons. Look at all the guards in there, chat. 
Huh. This might be one that I have to look up. I've got no idea how to get in there, guys. Let's carry on this way. Let's go into the dungeon. I don't think it's going to be through the dungeon, to be honest. No stairs leading up. Oh, wait. What's this? Wooden door hard. Oh, this is literally just the dungeons. So it won't be through here. So I've got no idea how to get in there, guys. If I could get in there, I'd be able to, like, get in there now. I'd be able to scout the joint and find out a way in. But, jeez, I don't know. There's a repair hammer there. I want it. Yeah, I've got no idea. Alright guys, this is something I'm going to have to look up between episodes because I have got no frigging clue how I'm supposed to get in there. I, I, I know that obviously there's a way, I just can't remember it. I can't remember the route. And there's no obvious doors. Around here. Maybe there's a door out here. No. Huh. That is befuddling. I have no clue. Okay, is there anything else we can do in the meantime? We can go up to White Stallion Lodge and take a quick look in there and see what's in there. But we don't have time because we don't have time to do much else. Because the dinner party starts in literally an hour. Or in a couple of hours. So let's just head to the White Stallion Lodge, see if there's anything in there. Because we haven't been in there yet. And then we'll uh, end the episode there. I'll come back to the castle later when end the episode there between episodes i'll look up where you're supposed to go and then i will start the next episode of oblivion tomorrow morning with the dinner party and the quest of sanguine You know how to get into the dinner party? I can't sell you any horse flesh. You have to go inside and talk to Catface. The fuck are you? What? What are you doing selling horse flesh? You should be selling horses whole, not flesh. Fucking gross weirdo. Right, the lodge is up over this hill. But there's a sprig in there. Mayday! Mayday! Spriggans are nasty. Help me, God. Help me, Centurion. Because they summon bears and stuff like that. And bears are vicious. Skeletor, get in there, buddy. Remember the Emperor! How's he doing? He's almost dead. Nice. Good work, mate. Good work. We got him together. Anything down here? Like Nern Root? Oh, there's some Nern Root. <laughs> All right, anything for us at White Stallion Lodge? This is the place that the um 
the baron or lord or whatever they called of Leowin gave to me and the orc for becoming knights errant. Oh, she's here. I'm gonna go get me some black bows. Pack Do you I'm want to? Go That's all she says. Maybe I should murder her and take her stuff. I don't know if I could though. She's so powerful. Okay, so we've got ingredients. Eat all the food here, chat. And that's literally all it is, isn't it? There's nothing else going on here. Oh, iron arrows, I'll take. So it's basically just a place where you can rest and store your shit. It's like a free house that you can utilize until you buy a house or whatever. Yeah, with the chest in it, yeah. It's just somewhere to store your belongings, like, basically, instead of using Wayne and Priory. Well, we know where the orc is now, at least. Right, let's fast travel back to town. See if we can sell some stuff that we just picked up. Can I? We'll see. No, it's dispositions, Matt. Have a look at my uh, wares. Are we haggling well? Yes, we can probably get it to 52. Something like that. Yeah. Uh, that was all it was, wasn't it? Resist frost. Bore me can go because it's heavy. An excellent bargain. Watermelon's heavy. That needs to go. Troll fat is pretty heavy. I didn't realize it was so heavy. Pumpkin's heavy. Mutton is heavy. Everything else is super light, apart from bread loaf, for some reason. Okay, good. Fortify Magicka, we don't need that. That's a good deal. Emerald can go. Okay. Right, guys, like I said, I'm going to end the episode there. It's slightly prematurely, but I don't know how I'm supposed to do this. I don't know where I'm supposed to go to get into the, the, uh, the Castle Leowin. So I'm going to end the episode now. I'll look it up between episodes and we'll start tomorrow morning's episode with the dinner party. Thank you so much for hanging out today, guys, and watching the episode. I hugely appreciate it. Don't forget to smash that like button if you're having a good time and enjoying the series. It does help out hugely with the YouTube algorithm and helping my channel to carry on growing. I really appreciate it, guys. So yeah, I'll be back tomorrow morning. Hopefully I'll see you there for that. If not, I'll try and catch you in some other content I produce. I try and make content every single day now. So, so I'll wait till next time.